Hi guys! Welcome to Cook Avec Dan and... Sissy! This week, I will show you how to make gluten-free pizza dough. Pizza is one of my favorite food, and since I cook gluten-free at home, I was always disappointed by what I can find on the market, so I stopped doing it. Over the time, I used different flour, different gluten-free combination, until I discover this flour from Caputo. This is made in Italy, and the result you can achieve with it for pizza dough is incredible. Here, there's a recipe on the bag, but the ratio never really worked for me, so I'll show you how to make it. Take 8 grams of dry yeast and dissolve it in 800 milliliters of room temperature water. Put 1 kilo of Caputo gluten-free flour in your stand mixer, then add your liquid in the flour. Mix until you don't see any wet stuff. Add 25 grams of kosher salt and make sure to scrape the edge of the bowl. Mix, then add 20 grams of olive oil gradually. Mix for 5 minutes until it's harmonious. No need to overdo it, there's no gluten to develop. Spread olive oil on a large pan, then put the dough on it. This is a very sticky dough, so make sure to oil your hands. Cut the dough in 6 even portion, it should be around 280 grams each, and shape those into nice tart dough. Then cover it with plastic film and let it rise for about 4 hours at room temperature. 4 hours later, the dough have double in size. Now it's time to shape them. Freeze the one you won't use. Again, this dough is very wet, make sure everything is floured. To shape the dough, use your finger. Start in the middle and push the air on the side for a puffy crust. Don't stretch it or it will break. Make sure you dough didn't stick. Alright, it's time for topping now. Some say you have to put only 3 ingredients on a pizza to be perfect, but uh, I disagree. Uh, it's your pizza, put everything you want on it and uh, have fun doing it. If you want to put 15 ingredients, do it. On this one, I want to uh, go like very salty. I love anchovies, so um, I will do a mix with anchovy caper, uh, black olives. So uh, let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. For the choice of your cheese, here I have a mozzarella fresca. And if you're lactose intolerant here, I have a uh, Di Buffala Mozzarella. This is from uh, the Buffalo. And if you're uh, to put the, the basil before cooking it, put it under the cheese so it won't burn in the oven. So let's go outside and cook this on the Canada Joe. Alright, we have our delicious pizza right here. We're gonna cut this. Help Papa. This crust is incredible for uh, gluten free uh, pizza, though. Mm. This is exactly how I like my pizza very salty, cheesy, saucy. So, how do we pair? A salty pizza like this. Well, first I want a crisp, fruity wine and a fresh acidity in the wine. What we don't want in the wine, it's a lot of tannin. Because the tannin will enhance the salty flavor in the food and this is enough salt already. What we don't want also is uh, like an old Bordeaux uh, with umami, hearty flavor in it because the salt will overpower your wine. Also, what we don't want, it's a wine with high level of alcohol because the salt will enhance the sensation of hot of the alcohol. A good choice for this would be a crisp, medium sweet white wine with uh, fresh acidity, some fruity notes, or even a champagne or a sparkling wine uh, that will cut the salt would be perfect. For today, my choice is um, this Valpolicella from Italy and uh, the grapes are Corvina and Rondinella and we should expect a medium tannin with uh, a nice fruity touch and um, still dry, not too sweet so let's find out to so have a nice ruby red color mm. 
And on the nose, we have uh, the red fruit, baked cherries, plum. And on the palate, the tannin are soft. There's a fresh acidity. There's a rich texture to it. The final is uh, medium long with the fruity uh, red fruit notes. This was a very nice match with the, all that salty flavor here and the fruit in the wine. And next time for sure I will try the sweet white wine just to compare to see the difference. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, it's free! See you next week and cheers! cheers.